Hey guys and welcome back. In this series I will show you guys how to build a uh, an interactive fretboard and we will use HTML, CSS and JavaScript to make it. And uh, it actually is something I, I did about a year and a half ago when I was first getting into Vue.js and uh, I ended up with something like this. And as you can see it's an interactive fretboard. Right now it's a guitar fretboard. I can hover the mouse over the different strings and the different frets and I can see what note uh, I have on each fret and on each string here. Uh, then I can also hover over these and I can get all the C's, all the D flats, all the D's. So it's basically just a tool where you can uh, kind of practice and memorize your fretboard uh, if you need help with that. And we have some different settings up here as well. So this one here is, uh, let's see, this is a D flat. It's showing here now because I have flats selected up here. If I change that to sharps, I will see an F sharp instead. So that's basically just a switch between sharps and flats. And as you can see, we have some presets as well. We have a guitar, we have a bass, four string bass, which when I select that, that'll change the fretboard. And I can select a five string bass and a ukulele, whatever. We can add more later if we want that. And then I have like, how many frets do I want on this? Do I want to show 20 frets or do I want to show only seven or six frets? So I can just add and remove frets as I like here. Another thing, if I want to see all of the notes at the same time, I can click here and then I get an overview of all of the different notes on the fretboard. So that's pretty cool too. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I hover here, I only see one note at a time. And when I hover here, I see all this, all these notes, uh, all the C's, all the D flats, all the D's and so on. So if I click on this show multiple, I will also get that by uh, when I hover over the fretboard. So now I see all the C's, now I see all the D's, and so on. And the last thing you can do is uh, you can tune it. You can uh, select an alternate tuning. And let's say if you have a guitar and you want a drop D, so you want this E string right here, you want it to drop down to D, we can select that. And we can select D. Where is it? can't see anything. There it is. Um, so now it's D. And you can do that with all, with all the strings. Uh, and when you tired of that you can just reset the tuning and it's back to E again so I don't know if we'll build this whole thing in this series but uh, we'll try to get as far as possible and uh, we're gonna make it all in HTML CSS and vanilla JavaScript this one is made in Vue.js it was kind of I wouldn't say it was easy to do because I was learning Vue.js at the time but it's much easier to do in a framework like uh, like Vue.js than it is to do in vanilla JavaScript and I promised myself that I would get back to doing some more vanilla JavaScript because when you're in a framework, when you're working with a framework a lot, uh, you tend to forget, or at least I do, I tend to forget all the different quirks and all the different things that I have to think about when I do vanilla JavaScript. So that's one of my resolutions for 2020 that I want to get back into vanilla JavaScript and uh, relearn some of the things that I, that I forgot. So I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code and uh, I actually already opened up a folder. Let's see, it's called fretboard. So it's a total empty folder. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to create an index HTML file. If I could spell, I cannot, I can never spell. Yep. And then I'm going to make a JavaScript file as well. Let's call it app.js. And let's make a CSS file. And let's call it styles. Something like that. And then I'm just going to select the index. I'm going to type out HTML. I'm going to select HTML5 and hit tab. And then I get this set up here. Let's call it fretboard. Good. And then we're going to need to link to the JavaScript file here. So script source and it is app.js. Yep. And then we are going to also link to the CSS. And that is called styles.css 
So let's just check if it works. Or actually, before we can check if it works, I want to install a live server in uh, Visual Studio Code. If you don't already have it, you can uh, go to your to your extensions here and you can search for it. It's called Live Server. And it shows up like this. You can click on it and then you can just click Install. So let's do that first. And that does, uh, that helps with, um, we're not really going to need a server. We're just going to, go live and every time we save it's automatically updated in the browser so I'm gonna click on go live and then I'm gonna get this one here let me just detach this one put it over here and go back to the code editor let's go back here let's I can see it already works I get fretboard as the title up here and let's go to and let's console lock something. Let's check the console. It says hello to us, so it's working. And let's try something. I'm just going to close this down. Let's do some styles. add a red background and okay so it seems like everything is working and we are ready to get started on this fretboard trainer here or what you want to call it um so in the next video we're just going to set up the html and maybe try out a bit of the css and get it to display and talk a little bit about how we how we are going to set this up because we have to think about some different things but we'll get to that in a later video so stay tuned and please Move on to the next video.